Hello, everyone. I'm Kuramoto. I'm sending a message uh, from Tokyo. <coughs> this workshop, especially its title, makes me realize that how far I have come and how old I'm getting. So I regret that at this time I'm unable to be with you, unable to share pleasant time with you at the workshop. <coughs> so I want I want to take advantage of this video message to tell you something <coughs> from my old memories and. Uh, I focus on what um, made me to uh, motivated me to develop my model of couple oscillators 40 years ago, and also how, why I was nevertheless so reluctant to write a decent paper on this work, on my work for relatively a long time. <coughs> I remember that it was sometime in the year of 1974, I suppose, that I first came across with Art Winfrey's paper, famous paper, you know, uh, which was published seven years before. Uh, the famous paper entitled Biological reasons and the behavior of uh, population of coupled oscillators. I was instantly fascinated by the first few paragraphs of the introductory section of the paper, and uh, especially uh, my interest was uh, stimulated when he spoke of the analogy between the synchronization transition and the phase transition of ferroelectrics because my earlier research theme was the theory of phase transition, second order phase transition of matter, uh, especially ferromagnets. And actually, uh, there is a striking similarity between synchronization phase transition and magnetic phase transition. In spite of such analogy, there was one thing which made me a little, made me feel a little uncomfortable. Uh, that's the fact that uh, that's a problem of coupling, mutual coupling. I mean that uh, mutual coupling between uh, two magnets or spins or the mutual coupling for oscillators uh, quite different. So, uh, you know, uh, for magnetic spins, the interaction energy is given by a scalar product of the two uh, spin vectors, which means that in a particular case for plan planar spins, the coupling function is given by a sinusoidal function of phase difference. In contrast, Winfrey's coupling, Winfrey's assumed coupling for two phase oscillators is given by a product of two functions, two periodic functions of the respective phases each called the stimulus function and sensitivity function. And uh, it seems that this product form of coupling was the main obstacle to mathematical analysis. Well, uh, I didn't care much about this fact, however, because my main interest was to find uh, 
solvable model. I, I, I knew that uh, product form coupling is more natural and uh, realistic, but I f prefer the sinusoidal form of coupling because uh, my interest was in finding out the uh, solvable model. So I looked for some plausible reason why the sinusoidal coupling is not so unreasonable. In connection of this, the complex ginzburg landau equation, which I was already familiar with, was helped me greatly. And I modified the complex ginzburg landau equation in such a way that the continuous oscillatory, oscillatory field be replaced by a discrete population of oscillators. The local diffusive coupling be replaced with the O to O diffusive coupling. Random frequency distribution was introduced. And moreover, I assume that uh, limb cycle orbit is strongly attractive. If all these assumptions are put together, then it was very easy to derive my model of coupled oscillators uh, with uh, sinusoidal coupling and auto all coupling. I was sure that like spin systems with global coupling, a self-consistency equation for a suitably defined order parameter could be derived also for the oscillator system. <clears throat> but uh, one, there is one subtle problem uh, which is uh, how to deal with the subgroup of those oscillators which cannot synchronize with the collective oscillation. <clears throat> My intuition was that uh, those oscillators would form a stationary phase distribution in a co-rotating frame. And if that is true, then those oscillators will not contribute the order parameter at all for this particular model of sine coupling. <clears throat> in this way, I uh, succeeded in uh, finding, uh, finding to find the fact that uh, there is a critical coupling strength above which a new branch of solution corresponding to collective oscillation is obtained. Although the, my argument was so crude and uh, involved uh, a number of unjustifiable logical jumps. Well, in spite of this success, I didn't write a paper except for a very short, very brief report for the proceedings of the International Symposium entitled Mathematical Foundations of Theoretical Physics, which was held in 1975 in Kyoto. My published short report was just two pages long, plus a few lines, typewritten with light spacing. So I knew that such a brief report I would be so unkind to the readers. But uh, see, I was reluctant to write a paper. Why? Maybe I was uh, simply lazy. But uh, possibly there was another reason. That is, I couldn't evaluate my own work, partly because I was just a beginner in nonlinear science in those days. So I needed uh, advices from experienced statistical physicists. And uh, I visited 
uh, several uh, such people uh, to have them hear my what I've done, I have done, and uh, to ask for their opinions. <clears throat> but unfortunately, their reactions were not so encouraging. They showed little interest in my work, and uh, <clears throat> they were even critical by saying, in some case, that what you have done doesn't seem new at all. There may be a lot of similar works in the fields of mechanical and electrical engineering. You should search those fields for relevant works. I was discouraged, of course, but I still had a little hope. My hope was that there might still be some positive reactions to my 15 minutes talk in the symposium. The symposium uh, uh, held in Kyoto, I've just mentioned. So I presented my model and its analysis in that symposium. <clears throat> there was just one question from the audience. The question came from one physicist, a solid state physicist, and for the rather famous man. <clears throat> His question was a rather conventional one. What's the relevance of your work to real world phenomena? Mm. Well, uh, being poor at my English, I reply just one word, circadian reasons, and virtually nothing more. That face is looked puzzled, gazed at me doubtfully, sat down without saying one word, and the chairman called the next speaker. Well, again, this experience was not so encouraging to me. So, for the next five years or so, the model I have developed and its analysis was a matter of little concern to me. So, I concentrated myself to other problems of reaction diffusion systems. So it was a big surprise when I received a letter from Art Winfrey one day in 18, uh, 1980, I suppose, in which he admired my short report, which appeared five years before in the proceedings. I don't know how he could search out my short article, but I later learned that uh, about that time, Winfrey was just finishing his manuscript for the monograph in the geometry of biological time. And it seemed that uh, just before that big list of references for the book was completed that my short article caught his attention. And fortunately, my short article was included in the bibliography for that book. And moreover, he spared a few paragraphs for the description of my model in his book. So I think it was a turning point of my model, in the fate of my model. Well, uh, in the same letter of Winfrey, he raised a very important question. He asked me, how about the stability 
of the particular solutions you have discovered. Is there any exchange of stability between the coherent and incoherent solution across the critical point? Well, naturally, I didn't have one word to answer. I couldn't answer at all. But I know that several years later, a number of brilliant scientists challenged this problem and related problem. And uh, <clears throat> it seemed that uh, mathematically complete solution is almost at hand. Well, <clears throat> other than this mathematical topic, I expect that in this workshop, a number of interesting topics a couple of those later will be discussed. And I believe that uh, the lively discussion among all participants will bring the workshop to a successful conclusion. Thank you very much.